Welcome to the ZRAM YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. Today we come to the announced part 2 of how to 35 joules with 12 gram CO2. If you haven't seen the first part yet, I recommend you to watch the first part. I'll now link the video in the info box above. In the first part we removed the valve block and the restrictor. And then I showed you how to adjust the housing of your HDR50 so that you can mount the Z extension. Now let's go to the crony and look at the results of the HDR without valve block and restrictor. Then we will make further upgrades step by step. So you can see what difference the Z extension creates and what you can do to further increase the performance. Please note that the methods shown here are not allowed in every country and you have to find out for yourself what is allowed in your country. For those who want to use the parts shown here, you will find the link to our shop in the video description. So now we come to our first test. We now have the HDR50 here. There is no Z extension in here, we removed the block here, there is no valve in here, so it is completely open here. Nothing else has been installed. We also still have the standard barrel in there. Put a fresh capsule in here. Now let's load the Z50 projectiles. You simply load them from behind, they fit in perfectly. With new drums it's a bit harder to get in, it was done that way on purpose so that they don't slip out. After the first few shots, they'll go in here as easily as you can now see here. So I didn't edit the drum. Things just sit perfectly after just a few uses. Summarized briefly, no Z extension, no block, no valve, standard barrel, and a fresh capsule. It is now tapped, the crony is set to FPS, and now we are doing the first test here. Two hundred and sixty FPS, thirteen joules. Two thirty nine FPS, two seventeen FPS. One ninety six FPS, one seventy nine FPS, one seventy nine FPS or error. So, now I'll just put in the Z extension and put in a new capsule and don't change anything else. So, now we screwed in the Z extension, so basically just took off the brass cap. Put the Z extension on and put the brass cap back on. You can do that from the outside without opening the case. And we still have the standard barrel in there. 
and here's the block and valve removed. Now I put in a fresh capsule. So, the Z50 projectiles again, everything spins great, and now we're going to do the next test. Pierced. Two hundred and ninety FPS. Seventeen joules. Two seventy four FPS. Error. That was three shots. Here the capsule is probably already empty. Okay, there isn't much left. It wasn't enough for the shot. Because the Z extension just fills up and the chamber fills up with air and flows out with every shot. And as you've seen we've already had an energy surge from that, but the capsule is quickly emptying twice as fast now. Far too much air is released to use all the energy. And that's why it's also advisable when using the Z extension to also attach the tuning barrel, that means the longer barrel, either the one with the extension or even with the sniper extension in order to be able to use the entire air capacity. Here was the best example, it wasn't enough air for the fourth shot. So now we come to the next test, and then let's see how we perform there. So, I removed the Z extension and installed the tuning barrel. How to do this, basically the same way you saw at the beginning of the video how to put the standard barrel back in. That's exactly how you put the tuned barrel in as well. What I just forgot to mention, we only managed 3 or 4 shots here with the Z extension. That's also because we took out the valve here, and of course the block. If we now add the modify pin here, then we get more shots again, but at a slightly lower FPS. But with modify pin, I had already shown in the previous video how the Z extension and modify pin work together. We managed to do a lot more shots there and we also achieved good results. Watch the video again, I can't put 20 different variations in one video. In this video I just want to show you the Z extension and how it behaves with the different combinations. So here we have the open valves, no block, no valve, no Z extension, but the tuning barrel, otherwise nothing has changed here. We load the Z50 projectiles again. Everything is turning. Put in a new capsule. chipped. And now we come to the next test.
318 FPS, 20 joules. Two seventy one FPS one eighty five FPS one eighty five FPS or error sixty four FPS That's it, there's nothing more. It was 5 shots this time, with the last 2 being pretty weak. It wasn't bad either, it was a maximum of 318 here. Just because of the tuning barrel with the tuning extension on it, the Z extension wasn't on it. We'll get to that in a moment with the Z extension, and yes, the tuning barrel is also available for purchase in our shop. There is also another sniper extension available for purchase, but we'll get to that later. I'm going to put the Z extension back in and then we'll see what kind of results we get. Well, now I've reinstalled the Z extension. And I've also installed the tuning barrel cover, a kind of shroud, which is also available in our shop. This handle will soon be available in our shop, not yet, but this cover for the normal tuning barrel, you can already buy it from us. Otherwise, to summarize again, we now have the tuning barrel with the normal extension that comes with the tuning barrel. We have now installed the Z extension and the block is gone, the valve is gone and now we do it a fresh capsule in. and our Z50 projectiles. Doesn't that look totally awesome? Even without the handle. It would look totally cool if you suddenly pulled something like that out of your pants. Then let's see what kind of results we get. Now she's sharp. Three hundred and seventy four FPS, twenty eight joules. Three fifty seven FPS. 305 FPS 263 FPS 203 FPS That's it, so 4 shots were in it, for decent shots These are decent results if you keep in mind what projectiles we shoot with here, with such pointy stuff. No matter which way around you get them, they weigh 4.3 grams, which is definitely better than anything round. Anyway, there was another increase to be seen. It looks pretty cool that way out I think. 
This doesn't bother me at all, and now that it's in black, certainly not. What we're going to do now is, I'll attach a second Z extension here. And then we'll see how that affects. So, I have now installed the second Z extension. And I installed the sniper extension. The sniper extension is screwed between the tuning barrel and the extension included with the tuning barrel. So here we have the tuning barrel, the sniper extension and the second part of the tuning barrel. The extension and the cover, tuning barrel, you can buy everything from us. Not the grip here yet, but soon, and as I said, twice the Z extension. And the whole thing now with a 12 gram CO2 capsule. Let's see how many shots we can get with it. very fresh capsule. Otherwise we haven't changed anything here. Here the block is still gone, the valve is gone, but with two Z extensions. The sniper extension can be screwed in between as many as you want, you can screw in between. And the same goes for the Z extension. But with a 12 gram CO2 capsule that doesn't make any sense from a certain moment and then you have to convert to HP, but that way you can improve always further and further by turning Z extension and sniper extension in between. And of course making changes to the HP on the regulator, but we'll get to that later. Otherwise, I think the whole thing looks pretty cool. Handy, you could now take this front off and carry it with you somehow, and then turn it on. But it shouldn't only look cool, let's see what kind of results we can achieve. So here are the Z50 projectiles. Fresh capsule, pierced. And we'll see. Four hundred and five FPS, thirty four jowls, three forty one FPS, three fifteen FPS, two twelve FPS. That's it. That was the tests for today. With this setup you can achieve 35 jowls with just one 12 gram CO2 capsule. With the use of the Z.50 projectiles you have made the HDR50 into such a serious device. All of the parts you need to make this setup out of your HDR50 can be found in our shop. In the future, all parts for this setup will also be offered in one package. So you don't have to think long about what you need and can order a complete package. Check out our shop. The link is in the video description. There you will also find many other parts and ammunition for other launchers. In our next video, I'll show you how you can convert the whole thing to HPA and achieve even higher results. I will also show you the various conversion options for the HDR50 and similar markers. And of course, we'll watch it again on the Crony. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. Until next time. You're Daniel from ZRAM.